two sides. One's hair is white and short. One's hair is white and long. Sometimes it's in a bun. One wears a jacket, pants, and boots. One wears a dress and an apron. One is a priest. One is a cook. One has fluffy, cute dogs. One has turtles who eat, swim, and escape. One makes dog biscuits with garlic, molasses, and bacon. I steal the dough. One makes yummy arroz y frijoles. From the front door of my U.S. grandmother's house, I can see houses, nice people, the ocean, and cold. Her neighbor gave me a little unicorn. I play with her dogs and skip down the street and go see Nerida, the mermaid statue. From the front door of my Costa Rican grandmother's house, I can see kids on bicycles, flowers in her garden. My cousin's hamster is buried in the backyard. I play in the garden. This is where my dad grew up. When my father was young, he planted some of the trees that go along the road from here to our house. Now they are big. Grandma speaks English. Mima speaks Spanish. When they talk, they can't understand each other. I have to be the official translator. It's nice, because I love to be able to tell them the jokes they would miss. In my family, I get to be the glue. I'm Emma Jane Obando Stanley. My mom, Catherine, wrote this text with things I told her about my grandmothers. They are Anne Grant Stanley of Eastport, Maine, and Cecilia Obando Ramirez of Guidabat, Costa Rica. Our weekly media naranja column tells us short love stories with a Costa Rican twist. This podcast was written and produced by Monica Quesada Cordero and Catherine Stanley Obando for El Colectivo 506, a woman-led journalism organization for and from Costa Rica that focuses on solutions journalism and rural communities. Thank you to Maria Pretis for composing our theme. Please rate and review this podcast. Follow us across social media at El Colectivo 506. And support our independent newsroom by becoming an annual member at elcolectivo506.com backslash membership.